<clears throat> okay, I was listening to the Intel NPR's Intelligence Squared um, debate on whether millennials are doomed or not, and uh, I might I must say I was uh, well entertained uh, by the notion. A lot of uh, ideas were uh, flung around back and forth. Two two professional debaters on either side. Um, I really liked that they chose actual uh, millennials uh, to uh, defend themselves. One was uh, considered uh, an older uh, millennial, born in 81. It doesn't really seem to me that in the 80s, you know, it's really call them much of a millennial. Maybe the late 80s, but they uh, threw out education and the economic conditions. Um, uh, technology, uh, just a lot of statistics and facts. I uh, wonder. Yeah, it, there were there were some. They kept it professional, but there were there were some arguments that could have been fleshed out a little bit better, like <clears throat> the race. They talked about there was 43 percent of. Uh, millennials who are um, of another <clears throat> or a non-white um, just <clears throat> good but uh, yeah that's it uh, the the they, they say that the, the, the minorities and, and, and you know, the blacks and Latinos in, in particular uh, have a little more struggle in the inner city schools and the millennials education tends to focus, has been focused on um, the feel good and how, and positive enforcement and on how you, uh, you don't discourage them if they, if they fail at math, still give them a good score so it doesn't hurt their self-esteem and, and all that. It's, it was a completely different mind shift uh, from the generations before in the, in the educational um, goals. So they, they, they have a, a dis disassociation from reality uh, starting out. Um, and and the, I thought it was interesting how the argument uh, uh, that for millennials being uh, having a bad future is that they, they don't know as much uh, about computer programming as the previous generations. I mean, Facebook was written on code. You know, it's, it's just because you know how to use Facebook or, or the uh, social networks doesn't mean you're a, a really good uh, at computers. The real, the real test is um, actually creating the website or making a little button to click on and that I mean they they talked about the click the click to which is another a play on activism and stuff which is interesting um, but uh, one thing I wish they would have mentioned which is it's a touchy subject anyway is the um, the obesity problem Michelle Obama said that they don't have uh, the younger generations don't have much of a future with uh, their their health in the state that, that it is is with, with uh, the diet choices. Uh, um, it's I mean, shorter life expectancy should be a clear indicator, but that wasn't brought up. So they had so many other um, points to put to to hit on and stuff. But in the end, I mean, I I was hoping they would have kind of uh, chose that. Millennials did have a, a good future ahead of them, but the the audience voted and they they uh, awarded it to the argument that millennials do have a doomed future. <laughs> Worth listening to. Um, really good debate. A lot of great points. They've been pumping them out with Intelligence Squared lately. It'd be nice if they keep them going. <clears throat>